it's not scheduled. You know, people. <laughs> uh, you're live though. Good How morning, everyone. Hot? How was your weekend? It was good. Didn't do much of nothing. So those are always interesting. Trying to catch up with people, see what's going on, you know, hanging out. It was so cold this weekend. It was. Well, cold by Texas standards, but I hear it was even colder for people, even just a little more north. I got snow and ice and all that. Yeah. I had some friends doing meetings in uh, Missouri that scrambled out before the snow hit. And luckily they did because otherwise they would have been trapped. It was that so bad? Like trapped yeah. by the snow? Yeah. Eight, 10, 12 inches, something like that. It was crazy. I heard they got like their entire year's worth of precipitation in like a day. Probably. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think that happened in North Carolina as well. Yeah, because they're used to snow. Not. Not at all. It's like South Carolina. Used to rain, not snow. Yeah, I'm not sure they're used to either. Yeah, no, it oh, was... Uh, used to rain. Really? Oh, yeah. When I moved out to South Carolina, my grandmother used to watch the news all the time, and we're sitting there watching the news, and it's been raining steady for two straight weeks. Like, not hard, not light. Just a steady, consistent rain for two entire weeks. And this guy gets on the news station. He's like, and we're in the middle of this terrible drought. And my grandmother and I look up. They're like, do you know what a drought means? Yeah, really. It just, it was less than what they needed for all their tobacco crops. Old tobacco. Um, well, welcome to Double Funnel TV, everybody. That's right. We can catch up. We can. Um, there we go. Now I got it. Now you got it? Yeah, I thought I had uh, forwarded it and posted it, but it didn't come out that way. It tends to do its own thing sometimes. It can be that way. I'm going to go, okay, you have that part. Does it look good on screen? Bigger? As big as it's going to get? Uh, I got to look. Give me a second. Yeah. I try to make it as big as possible by yeah. pushing the screen. It can be hard to work that way though sometimes. I am going to go over here. I had to build this page today anyway, and so I'm just gonna build it live. Awesome. Um, and the idea being is I was sitting in the um, training on last Tuesday with Digital Marketer discussing goals, right? And we were using last year's goal as a benchmark to decide what was possible for the next year. And there's good reason to do that. So you don't end up saying, you know, let's make a million dollars this year and, and you've never made $10,000 right. in business, right? Um, not to say it cannot be done, that it should not be planned. <laughs> Unless you have some benchmark that says it's possible. Um, so it kind of creates, you know, legitimate goals saying that whatever your revenue or your unit of measurement for your business should never be more than probably about three times what you've done before. As okay. you know, I mean, that's a pretty big goal. If you've never made a 300% increase is big. That's a fairly big increase. Now, obviously, if you're just starting out, that's different. But most companies aren't profitable. You know, what is it for the first three years anyway? So. Um, and three years, so five, I think was really pushing it. And that was ultra growth companies that typically have a significant amount of VC backing. So you've got money coming from somewhere else. Um, and then rapid growth was three times. So that's, that's fairly interesting. But what I was thinking when I'm sitting there in that meeting and I'm supposed to be using this, this year's numbers as a benchmark was we haven't finished out the year yet and I'm not quite ready to give up on the big hairy financial revenue goal that I set for this year. So, right. and I would be willing to bet most other people are not either, right? Correct. We're also at the end of the year when those people who have met excessive revenue need to get it off the books for tax purposes, or maybe they didn't spend what they needed to anyway because nobody wants to pay taxes. 
Um, but they can leverage it and build. And of course, I'm B2B, so I'm leveraging, I'm working with business, not consumer. So it's a little different. Right. However, um, I would like to see the numbers at bigger. In fact, today during the Business Growth Network, um, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that they did so everyone else can kind of create their numbers too. And if nothing else, I think it's very eye opening the way that um, Richard Lindner structured it. He was very specific in saying no computers. So you could not open QuickBooks and validate any of your numbers. The first round was to do it all on your lonesome. Nice. And then validate them and see where that gap is. And I remember when I was sitting next to, in the actual meeting, we sat next to um, a good friend of mine, who's another partner. And she basically realized all her customers came from one avenue. And so she was working, you know, everyone's like, oh, what social media should be on? Or what should I be doing to get business? And they try to stretch them across 10 different platforms and methods. And when you sit down like this, you realize most of your sales probably came from one, maybe two methods. And it gave you a real hard look on that. Not to say you should ditch it, because I feel like there's something to be said for um, support and engagement. But without attribution, you don't really know. But this made you guess. So before we all get down there, I was like, if you could do something, assuming your goals are still within reason, right? Having something that you can sell very quickly. So one of our biggest ones is one year of done for you social. And we've gotten a lot of traction when we've customized the offer and like bought up Dub. We bought three codes to Dub. I don't even know if it's still available. Um, do you remember when we were going over Dub? Yeah. Uh, actually, we reposted that the other day again. I don't know if it's still available. Hello, public. Um, still available. Um, it is one more expensive, but again, it's video, and they did release a pretty nice unlimited offer if you buy three. Um, video is hard, but we're going to be utilizing that to help us push this um, page out. But at $2,400, it's already done really well. And I kind of just barely basically started this page in. Um, what you're seeing is I've already, I've just taken the high converting homepage and just right. duplicated it. That's nice. it. Um, as far as what I want up here, I'm probably going to delete most of this, except maybe a call button, if I actually want to pick up the phone. Yes. I may not want to pick up the phone. Um, you can always return the call when you want to. You don't have to answer it when it actually rings. Even that is that is a possibility. I would rather text you back. Um, man, so one year of done for you social into now 2019. And I will ask you as the salesperson. My first inclination was just to cut it in half by price. So twelve hundred maybe make it eleven ninety seven. But I feel like if we're gonna make it eleven ninety seven and we're playing with things that people think in their head, should you make it eleven ninety seven, or should you go ahead and drop it under a thousand? I'd probably take it to eleven ninety seven. Isn't a isn't a price point. So it isn't a price point. Well, it's not a, a not a recognized price point. Nine ninety seven is a recognized price point. Four ninety seven is a recognized price point. Nineteen ninety seven is a recognized price point. Well, uh, eleven ninety seven is not. A, it's it is a price point. It is not a recognized price point. Meaning, it doesn't it doesn't trigger anything. If if you're going to do eleven ninety seven, you might as well do fourteen ninety seven. In other words, it's not it's not psychologically a driver enough to make that difference. Does that make sense? It does. That hurts my margins, but I understand. Well, but that's why I said go to fourteen ninety seven. I didn't say go to nine ninety seven. Fourteen ninety seven. A deal's still a deal. I mean, it's nine hundred dollars yeah. off. What makes? What do you think the difference in those drivers is? Like, why do people? Eleven ninety seven is not a 
what did you call it? A price point? So well, it's not a recognized price point. A recognized price point. You know, there are things that it, it's as an example. Let's go. Let's go down lower. Forty nine dollars, ninety nine dollars. Those are recognized price points. Seventy nine dollars is a mutant. It, it it's like what's seventy nine bucks, right? Well, I mean, it, right here they're putting it at fifty nine, and I'm just like, huh? That's my point. Is it, now, if that was forty nine, you'd jump all over it. I mean, it and it doesn't sound like that much. And quite frankly, if it was ninety nine, you'd probably jump all over it. But fifty nine is kind of like, well, I don't know. I got to think about it. It's like, wait a second, it makes no sense. But that's that's what happens. Is um, you know, if you if you really study price points and different things, but people do that all the time. It's like. Um, I'm trying to think what the, I was working with somebody one time and all of a sudden they said, yeah, that'd be 1152. 1152. What the hell's that? <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just this, well, but that's half of wherever I was or what, I don't remember how, how they even got there. Right. But it was just one of those things, one of those numbers if you can take it, anything that you can break down to the ridiculous, that's what you want to do. Breaking it down to the ridiculous? Well, that's, you know, ultimately this is less than a Starbucks a day. It's less than a whatever, right? Give somebody a, a, a functional equivalent of what it is. That's so, I don't even know what the equivalent of that would be. Well, I haven't looked at the number exactly, but fourteen ninety seven. So Just if you're, that. let me go to. Um, my Starbucks costs more. <laughs> my yeah, Starbucks four dollars and ten cents a day. Yeah. It's a Starbucks a day. That'd be about right, actually. So as an example, you know, you could say, take this done for you social media and enjoy your Starbucks each day. It's a thought process. It's the cost, it's the cost of a Starbucks each day. Yeah. But the, but the point is now you can enjoy it. You're still going to get your Starbucks. The difference is now you can enjoy it because it's already been done for you. As an example. I think when digital marketers tend to address it, it's like skip your Starbucks for the day and get. But nobody yes. wants to skip their Starbucks. Well, that's why you've got to, that's why I said enjoy your Starbucks. See that, yeah, no, I would agree with you. Nobody wants to skip anything. They want everything. Yeah, they do. We don't, do we? We don't want to skip no. the Starbucks. We want all the goodies. No, I mean, and that's the, again, when people say, so now take and intensify the fact that you can have your Starbucks. You can just be lazier because it's done for you. Or jumpstart your morning, you know. Yeah. You know, something like that. Take it from a, um, take it to a positive of, you know, free up your time. Mm -hmm. Time, energy, money. We, in fact, it's funny, today's tip number 10 of 24 days of Christmas sales tips is invest time. And, and I'll probably start with, we all have the same 86,400 seconds in a day. The question isn't needing a day stretcher. The question is, how do you utilize that time? So again, one of the things is save yourself time, save yourself energy, save yourself money. Right? Yeah. 
So that's what I'm saying as far as the, but nobody wants to not have their Starbucks. No. If you, if you like Starbucks, you're going to have your Starbucks. You're going to have it. No the matter whole, The whole rationale of do you realize you could get coffee somewhere else for half or a third of the amount is like an insult, even though it's true. I wish I drank coffee, then that would be true. I have a fancy tea order, and I keep on trying to find every other way to replace it, and it's just not the same. That's really... uh, we're in the season of hot chocolate. <laughs> They make a um, chai tea latte, except unlike every other place, they don't use a powdered form. They use the they bag it down and make it a liquid. Nice. Great. Great. And post. So it, one of the reasons I wanted to use this particular mock-up right from the high converting homepage right. is it has a lot of the elements you need anyway. So it's not going to be perfect as a sales page. Um, there might be some modifications. But again, for a quick validation, quick, let's turn over some income. Like I've got two emails from people I've talked to that were already interested. I have over 100 leads that um, I've sent this to before and they didn't buy but they were interested, right? And I can sit there and I can get on LinkedIn to people who are looking for social media and say, hey, you know, an employee is gonna cost you like what, two grand a month minimum? And we're less than that for an entire year, right? Right. So these different little things, like you could turn out an offer, but you need the page to do it really quick. You don't need all sorts of fanciness. You don't need all the active campaign automations ready to go. You just need to get something out there kind of in a down and dirty. I feel like you sells, just sell it. That's Stop right. Make it pretty. I need the word B. Oh, I want it on one line. Okay, it's on one line. Um, you do want to tell them the steps. No matter what they're buying, you want them to know there are easy steps. You collect. I gotta look for another word. You drink your coffee. Um, and I'm gonna leave it at four steps. I want to keep it super simple. If you can get it down to three, that's even better. Nobody wants to read either. That was my biggest complaint. I had um, the marketers rip apart my previous high converting sales page. And even they were like, eh, too complicated. Too many words. Yeah. Like you think that everyone needs words to explain things? No, they might. At, what they really need is a great metaphor. Something they already understand. It's like buying coffee. Yeah. Well, that's why I was actually looking at the word collect. Because I'm not sure I like the word collect. Am I collecting people's money? Well, no, it's um, gather, gather, assemble, accumulate. Not accumulate. No, but I mean, it's like it, I'm hoarding. Well, but I mean, it just gather your info. I I like that. It's it's more uh, actually personal. Feels more personal. But collect it just didn't. As I was looking at that, didn't seem like the right word. Gather your info better. Yeah, yeah, very much so. That's why I said I was I was looking for other choices in there. Are you ready for Christmas? No. <laughs> Is your honey bear doing it all for you? She always does. No, I mean she does the house oh my god she decorates it all up 
we got Santa and Snowman outside. We got a six and a half foot Santa inside. Tree, mantle. All the goodies. At least we're not in nutcracker hell this year. There's about 300 nutcrackers that come out every once in a while. There's what? Uh, <laughs> I have to stop what I'm doing. Wait, what? 300 nutcrackers. Like you guys own 300 nutcrackers. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> How many boxes is that? A lot. Do you it's have crazy. the six foot one yet? Of course. You got to have at least one of those. You know, you got to have it all the way from the, you know, the two and a half inch to six foot, everything in between. We got a, a spiral staircase up to my office. And normally they're guarding the whole, you know, as you go up. <laughs> I get it. I'm kind of curious how many boxes. I have no idea. A lot. A lot. When I was a kid, I loved going to those houses. As an adult, I hate putting that stuff out and yeah. carrying it and moving it. So much work. Yes. So it's probably only. Maybe 20 Christmas bears out around the tree and elsewhere. Christmas bears? Okay. Christmas bears, elves, elf bears. <laughs> elf nutcrackers. Elf nutcrackers. You name it. It'll be a basic uh, fellow form. Fill out your basic company information, brand color, CTAs. I would. You know, CTAs is industry jargon. I would explain what that is. Call to action. Primary call to action. Even a call to action, like the word, if we're going to do it that way. Primary. Uh, it. You know, if you're going to get specific, it's desired result. But the the point is, again, we tend to talk, or or far too often, experts tend to talk in technical ease. And so, so, well, if you don't know what a CTA is, it's tech. It's technical. And so now you, it's the, it's the punch out on the radio, okay. right? It's the, I don't know what that is, so I'm, I'm out. You don't ever want to give them a reason to be out. Don't give anybody any excuses to shut down your page. Ah, it keeps on going big for me. I don't know why it's doing that. I think I kind of did like you did today. We did absolutely nothing today. Or this what? weekend, rather. We did absolutely nothing this weekend. We watched movies and stayed warm. I had one birthday brunch for my kids. At some fancy restaurant in Frisco. <laughs> well, that's fun. It's pretty yummy. It was um, called Tupelo Honey. <laughs> so I thought it was just going to be all sweet stuff. Apparently, Tupelo is Mississippi, and they do things spicy. So it's like this oxymoron of spicy sweet. Cool.
You're right. All the, so I've learned one thing is you have to take all the work out of things for people. You will write all the content. Well, that's why you go DY uh, done for you. All the images and video. Do all the scheduling on our own platforms. It is truly set it and forget it. That's good. You drink coffee. Oops. Four. Plus. Four dollars and ten cents a day. You get to drink your coffee in peace. The social media posts go out completely done for you. Helps when you can spell the word you. We still have you there, Scott? Yep, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. So I was just. Are you getting sidetracked on me? No, I just saw something come in. I was, you know, trying to be responsive. <laughs> you can be responsive. Why can't I? Now, how have you how have you been doing on um, using your pages and getting your December twenty two event booked? I've uh, been sending it out. Um, have been doing the uh, daily tips, so that's been fun. Actually, getting some some interesting responses to that. Uh, the page itself is not. Uh, Probably getting the the response I'd love. Actually, I was gonna I'm gonna tweak that some today. Um, it it's funny. There's a there's a weird uh, kind of slowdown. I mean, I I get we're coming into the holidays and there's typically a slowdown, but it's been a weird slowdown this year. I think. Well, I did think that you scheduled it. I was thinking about that the other day. You scheduled it on um, the weekend before Christmas. No, I know. Well, and that's what actually I was thinking of, of moving it in uh, between Christmas and New Year's to, um, you know, because then your next thing is you aren't doing anything at this time anyway. You, wanna, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. typically there's a, people are off. So I think that that was the, that was my thought, is to move it uh, from that side. I do think you're not paranoid. I think this is going to be, uh, I do think there's going to be a slowdown here. I definitely am concerned about that. I was telling someone, I was like, I don't know if I just have like um, PTSD from the last recession. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I was looking at some charts and I was looking at some market charts and like typical corrections and we've had this 10 year bull run. That's huge. Yeah. Borrow a, a Trump word there. It's huge. It yeah. made the other bubble look rather tiny. Yep. The, um, it's funny. I actually had some friends, you know, cause I spent a, a fair amount of time, in stock market education is one of the things that I, I presented for years. And some of my friends in that sector basically are saying the same thing. You can say I'm wrong. You can say, go ahead. I'm just trying to suggest. And that's exactly what they said. Uh, you know, normally 10 years is eight years up, two years down, or, you know, there are, there are even within the, the cycles there are cycles right yep 
and that's exactly what they were saying. So well, it's interesting. Interest rates, so there's less free money. Yeah, I mean, it's um, the, you know, part of it is the, um, it's, it's fascinating to me to see how you can see the people who are taking advantage of the slowdown and people who are just, you know, going, well, we'll wait till January. It's like this, it just, December just started. What are you talking about? Right. You know, crazy. So I'd rather, I'd rather pour it on and figure out how to pour it on than to sit back. So we'll figure out how to do that. You know, well, and, you know, everyone's like, Oh, it's, um, I don't like it being used as an excuse. No. We were, my husband and I were talking the other day. He actually started his business in 2008, like at, you know, as it was peaking up over there. So I don't like, if he can build a business right there, I, I feel like anybody can if they want to. Yeah. Well, I think anybody can if you want to. I think you have to, you have to call it. There's some, it's interesting. There's some, there are portions of our business that are, just rocking and there are portions where people are getting um a little standoffish and i don't think those people are going to do well i think you know all you can do is encourage them and say now is actually the time let's utilize this time better right and so I, i'll give you the 22nd is three days before christmas i can look at a calendar and figure that out too it's like okay so then what's the next best logical choice next best logical choice is between Christmas and New Year's because a lot of people have a little softer schedule. Right. Right. So then let's utilize that. Let's play that up and let's utilize that time to not let it be soft. Let's get into 2019 better, you know, do it that way. So I, you know, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Uh, doing these these sales tips every day now. This will be day ten, as it's the tenth of the month. Novel how that worked out. Um, but it's I've heard from a you know a lot of people I've worked with in the past that are like, dang, thanks for the reminders. I need to get back into this and all those kinds of things. So mm -hmm. it's been interesting. Been cool. Well, I'm glad they've been helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's the idea. Well, I always find that something's better than nothing. Like in Facebook Live right now, it's just a, a great way to be able to add a lot of help to other people. And it puts it out there, what you're doing. Yeah. Every time. Well, that the other thing I did is, and I don't know if you've seen it, you probably haven't seen it, but I built a page uh, that, where all 24 tips will reside right now the first eight are on the page but i built the page out to 24 and i put in a placeholder video in the nine through 24 spots that i can then you know, quickly swap out the, the link and, and do that. Nice. Yeah. I mean, Kyvio is, it is actually almost fun. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of fun to be able to, you know, pop things in and out and make some stuff happen very quickly. But this video, I think, needs to go. It's a distraction. Which video is that? It's the one. It's like a three-minute video that talks you through um, the video, uh, the marketing process. But it, the request is, let's meet up to go over, you know, the seventy-three ways. And I don't want seventy-three ways. I want to sell them. Got it. Who is it for? Not everyone.
Holidays and launches. Who is it for? Business owners. And focus on their core. Genius. I like that word. Their core genius. Compliments them, makes them feel good about themselves. There you go. No. No. Facebook is. No. That social media is an important part of their business. Is building their brand and industry authority. Yep. Work from home. Make it seem like you don't work from home. I mean, that would be the one of the benefits for somebody who works from home, look like you, you know, have staff, have, you know, presence. Have, have the presence that the big guys do. Professional social pre pre presence. Uh, yeah. Or authority. And bonus. DJ. So we use all the images video we create. Get to use, reuse. Um, the agency owner. Because it extends expertise, you may or may not have it in the house. It allows you to add another service. Expert service with right. hiring employees for without the typical expense. Virtual assistance. Um, as you. About hiring employees. Typical expense. I can't spell expense. It's not all that hard. Not bad. Let me keep this part right here. What was my buy button down here? Let's just make it all the same. Now, the only thing is, I don't think I actually have a buy button yet for this one. What's that buy button there? Well, I, I don't think it actually goes to. Yep. Got it. I don't actually have a product. Or something that tells the checkout page this is how much it costs. 
that would probably be good. More than likely would be a better choice, yes. <laughs> I like your 1497. I don't feel like I'm being price gouged, but I do feel like it's a good number. I think I was going to add another one. I cannot remember what it was for. What's that? Another product? Like, a, like they're given two options. Either give them one or give them three. Don't give them two. Really? Why, uh, why not two? Well... Technically, a confused mind doesn't buy. And if I have a choice, I now am slightly confused. Whereas good, better, best is a triad that that's the brain is kind of accustomed to working in a triad. So that's different than, you know, a single offer or... Um, it's, it's just a different psychological decision. I get that. Well, between this and this, I'm not sure. I either have this, okay, I only have one choice, either I like it or I don't, or good, better, best. Well, I'm accustomed to good, better, best. So that would be the encouragement for that. I see what you're saying. I think what I will do is I will push it just a little bit further. I went up just a little bit. And post it to your business Facebook. Create it, post it to your business Facebook page. And personal LinkedIn stream. So I'll give them Facebook and LinkedIn. Wow. I know, right? Fair's fair. I feel like if you really want to push something over, it's not just the price that you're pushing over. You're pushing over. Um, adding some bonuses in can really be helpful. Especially if it's stuff that you already have laying around or it doesn't, it's not too difficult for you to do. Mm -hmm. Make it like no brainer. Don't make them think about it. Make them think like, oh my God, I'm, I'm stupid if I don't do this. Fear of missing out. FOMO. I hear it's really difficult. What's really difficult? That the that one works really well. Like your fear of missing out, it becomes a very difficult one to overcome. That's why AppSumo does so well selling those deals. Is there's the fear of missing out. It's only there's a couple different ways they do them. Either by a time limit or by when the codes are out. When the codes right. are out, the codes are out. One time, one deal went live, and the codes were out within 24 hours. Wow. It's a good deal. Everybody wanted it. I came back for a second code, and I was like, told, like, eh. nope, not happening. Too bad. Nice try, nice try. Now, one Too could late. argue I don't want to put the price up on top. What are your thoughts on that as a consumer? The... As far as where the price is? Yep. Having it up here or not having it up here? Or should I put it up here? You haven't created any value up on top. In other words, they haven't, 
they don't know whether it's a good deal or not. There's no particular number that's a good deal unless you have something to compare it to, unless value has been created, right? Yep. So really hard to know whether it's a good deal or not a good deal until you've had the opportunity to learn something about it. What about like that as a button up on top? I think it's an, in, you know, the, the 410 is an interesting number, you know, from that side, I think that's a curiosity number. Okay. You know, I think that that's, you know, cause it's, cause it's kind of a mutant in itself, but I mean, it, it I says what it is. An interesting number is good. It no, no, I, that's what I'm saying is I think it's an interesting number. I think it, I think it actually works pretty well. Um, I think having it on the bar, you see it makes the impression. And now it's like, well, let me look at what I get for that. Not month, not month. Things that you accidentally leave the previous day. Right. Day, day. Um, where is the gray coming from? Border. Oh, border. Actually, I don't even like that. Ooh, ooh. Kind of like this one. I don't even know. Look, it's flying off the screen. I know, right? I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I kind of like it. So I don't know that that messaging carries through what's really happening there. No. In that, it's the daily, I think it needs to be done for you social post or done for you post or because again to me that looks like if i don't know that looks like you just go in and post on my page not that you've written it and there's got to be value you know what i'm saying yeah to the It, I know it sounds weird, but it's almost like even done for you. I don't know that it carries everything that's really done for you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think that one through. You know, if, if, if this might sound strange, but if inside the phone screen, mm -hmm. you know, it says written, posted, da, 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 da. in other words, what does done for you mean? The, the whole thing. So you've got done for you on the left side, right? Yeah. Yes, so. Maybe it says it's written, posted, and blah, blah, blah. Again, some kind of that triad of what done for you means. Be, and I, I'm trying to think through, am I overthinking it? Well, I took a screenshot with my phone of one of the posts we've done. Yeah. And now I just was able to use, use relay that and lay it inside the phone. Yeah. That, was cool. that looks cool. 
So like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, let's see, downloads, documents. That works. That conveys that point of, you know, picture, copy, construction. Like done for you. Like Yeah, post. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like it, out the door. And that's that's where I was again. We, the experts, quote unquote, go, well, we know what done for you means. Right. The person seeing it may or may not. And the and to create true value to them, we have to help them understand what it means. That's part of the part of the task. Now that's an interesting concept making sure that it's not not just in the written but it's in the imagery mm -hmm. I mean that's a that's a cool look like that so now it it actually shows it <clears throat> this is what done for you looks like. Good morning. They're not quite here yet. It's cold. Good. That's weird. Members pouring in. Okay, so we Perfect. have. I don't know which one font one and font two is. Font two. Make it white. Make it white. Not making the wrong one. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Good I call. I can take out some of that and it'll get bigger. And that can be used in a couple of other places. I unfortunately mm -hmm. cannot use it as an ad. Why? A lot of text. Lots of text. Got it. I'm wondering if I could take this off, drop those words down here, and use that as an ad. Because that would be the 20% rule, but then that would count as well. Yeah. That 20% rule, even though that you can post Facebook ads with lots of text on it or more than 20% text, they still ding you significantly for it. For it. I'm going to turn this into two columns. Because that is way too much text at the top. And I think we are just getting lazier and lazier with how much text we're okay with. Well, it's, it's supposed to be very tight and concise, correct? Yeah. But I found it just, it's getting more and more and more so. I'm going to steal their bullet points out of their box. I like that, the bullet points. Yeah, right? Add some bold here. Give it some left justified. Pick it up a little bit to a bigger sub, sub headline. And then change the copy. One here. Social media. Oops. Facebook. In bold, three hundred sixty five, three hundred sixty five. 
post one a day. It's worked. I feel so like I'm running, I'm running out of time. We didn't get to post one a day. What? Hurry. Four minutes. Establish a brand. Increase authority. I like it. Increase influence. Let's do. What have I already done here? Bring in more leads. Isn't that the one people actually want? Yeah. I mean, people want more business, more more leads, more customers, more. Increase leads. Improving organic search engine optimization. I feel like that's a lot. Increase Looks like a lot. And influence. Build engagement. Establish your brand. Establish your brand and increase. We have the word increase a lot. Increase is good. And increase your brand and engage. Oh. You can take that one out. Um, Kickstart searching. Lick start. Don't you often lick start? Lick start? No. Yeah. Not that I know of. <laughs> Social media. Or organic. So what kind of sales training are you going to give us this Friday? Well, I don't know. There's so many choices. We should, you know, what we should do is start taking requests. What do they need? Why don't we develop questions? That's a great idea. Um, that'd be a great one to ask inside the group. Yeah. Pretty wild. I was checking one of my forwardings on U plus one and all of a sudden the video started. <laughs> Funny how like that works out. Hearing another uh, another channel coming through my head. Yeah, why don't we ask the group, what do they need to know? What do they want to know? Increase leads. Every post includes a call to action. 
actually it is six, five out of seven pros. Wow. First, include a call to action. Either call, email, or your, your website. A post is built to increase the branding and authority. Your colors, your fonts. Your fonts and messaging are professionally presented. Good morning. All right, social media. It's gonna play Hopper with me. I'm gonna play what? Sometimes it likes to jump around. It's me using a trackpad. And then I need to hop on over because I've got people coming in. That's right. Do it again. And it's, I know they're not working too much on 2.0 or 1.0 because they're working so hard on 2.0, so I don't want to bother them with some something silly, like a glitch in the media uploader. Yeah, I've, I've had that with the media thing, too. I feel like I'm one bullet point too long. You know what? I'm going to delete the headline, subheadline. Yeah. Makes it a little bit more. If I add just a little bit of space here. I like it. I might add just a little bit more. I'm gonna come through and add some more. Um, for the most part, this is done. And I can yeah. go with this. I would delete this whole black block and this piece right here and be done with it. And I might just do that and start emails going out and then come back to this. Good idea. I'm still leaving my footer block intentionally. Um, I might delete some of this and delete this block right here. But for the most part, because um, I have to have this because I will have advertising going to this. I do want them to be able to call me if they're old school. Check me out on social. Um, nice. So I might delete this whole section. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I hope that wraps up. And if you need a page similar to this, drop over to doublefunnel.tv and apply. Um, Get it done. I'm tired. I feel like this has been a slower session, but um, I hope well, I was actually actually building it. Actually building yep. it. That um, Once you start building these master templates, once you build a really great website inside of a funnel builder that you can easily copy paste that over and yourself build a pretty stellar website that you can launch any idea you want really quickly yep. without a whole lot of effort. So hope that helps. And I will see you. Good start to the day. Tomorrow. Good start to the week. Good start to the week. Always. All right. Bye guys. See ya.